かずよーやおーかずよーよー OK100 OK100 There we go Welcome to the test bench in the cave. I found this really cool MIDI device. And I love MIDI, as you know. And this is a 4x4 MIDI, or MIDI 4x4 made by MIDI Plus. And what's really cool about this device is it can do four keyboards in and out for both MIDI. On a typical MIDI connection, you have your your in and your out. This is a brand new box. Just ordered it off of Amazon, Amazon Prime. With Prime, you get free shipping. And I ordered it on a Friday, and it came on a Sunday afternoon. Very quick. So, further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside it. Oh wow! So right ahead, you got a nice little quick start guide. Very nice. Gives you uh, some very nice pictures on how all the hookups look look like. I mean, so that's pretty good. And this is a type of device that is does not need drivers for OS X. You just plug it in, and it'll just automatically show up. A compliant list device or something like that. All right. So then, in this other part, you get a little nice little USB cable wrapped up real nice. And then, here's the bad boy itself. What's going on? Oh man, this thing's heavy. There we go. That's in its packaging. Kind of portable, kind of nice. Now keep in mind, MIDI is not audio. You'll need to run separate connections for audio on your audio outputs on your keyboard. This just controls the uh, messaging, uh, the send and receive signals for to input MIDI data into like a, a DAW like Logic Pro X or Logic Pro. Right, take that off. Oh, that's really nice. It's got this luminized steel uh, metal, luminized metal. It feels really nice. Yeah, it's a solid construction. Very good. You see, you got three and four on the back with the B connection right here. And then you got MIDI 1, MIDI 2. You have all the lights, the in and out lights that show what's going on. And it looks like this little power light right there. And you turn around right here. And you have MIDI 3 and MIDI 4. And then you have your USB. Very nice. I love the feel of it. Solid construction. Feels well. And, and very short. Something you could throw in your backpack. Now, why did I buy this? It means I can hook up four old style keyboards. And you're thinking, dude, you have four keyboards to hook up? Yes, I do. I want to be able to hook up and use four keyboards at the same time. Now, let's go ahead and let's see if there's anything else in here. No, nothing to the bottom of the box. See? It's a nice looking box. It's got the drawings on the. show how things are synced up there. So, we'll go ahead. Put that back in the box. Put this in there. I don't read directions. No stinking directions. Put the side out over there. I got that right here. So now, how are we gonna hook it up? All right. Well, I got some toys that we could use to hook it up. First thing we need is a USB. Now keep in mind, when you use a USB like this, since it's gonna be going to so many devices, you want to make sure that this USB goes straight into the computer, that it's not going onto a, a USB bus or a USB uh, adapter or something like that. You want to make sure it's direct connect, directly connected to the computer. Because a lot of times when it goes through a bus, it's going to somehow mess up your MIDI transfer data. And you, you don't really want that. 
and the other reason why you don't want it to go through a bus, uh, a USB hub, is because a lot of times they're not powered and you won't get enough power and you won't see anything. So make sure it goes straight into the computer. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this old Mac G5 right over here as our TUS computer. And then eventually what I plan on doing is, is we'll use a, a newer computer later on. This here is an older Mac G5. It's had a, a few too many base drops. As you can see, it's all lopsided and and the metal's bent on one side. It actually got dropped, yes. That being said, go ahead and plug this in. Here's the cord. You can see you want the the male side right here or whatever you want to call it, this side. This connector. Go in and find one. One right here. Oh, if I can get it. There we go. And then plug this guy right in on this side right here. Yeah, I don't know if we could see it, right? Okay, so as you see, it plugs in, nice little blue LED, show you have power. So the next thing, let's uh, hook up a keyboard, see what happens. What do you need to hook up a keyboard with? You're going to need one of these kind of cables. Actually, you're going to need four of them. You can get them off of Amazon, about six or seven bucks a piece, and they have a red and a gray on each end. Now how this works is you want to go opposite to opposite or like if you plug the, the red on the in and then the red on the other side is going to be on the out and if you plug the gray on the out and the other side is going to be the in on the gray. Just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and find a keyboard. So what this here is, this is uh, an older Casio keyboard you can find anywhere. Uh, the cool thing about this keyboard is the keys will light up and it actually shows you where to play. Uh, it's a really nice keyboard for learning. You can actually, it shows you the fingering on some of the different songs, which is kind of in each hand. That's what's really cool about this keyboard. It's the LK100 key lighting system. Hook it into Logic Pro 9 and show you how the MIDI works. On every keyboard, an in and out MIDI. You can see this one right here. So zoom in here. Zoom, 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 zoom. There you go. You can see right there. You have an in and out. Those are the two connections that you want to use for the MIDI. It doesn't matter what color you use. You just got to remember which side the other color goes to. So right now, I'm going to put the red in the out. I'm going to put the gray in the in. Like so. Red on out, gray on in. So that means on the other side, my red, since it's coming from the out, will have to go to the in. And my gray here, since it's coming from the in, will have to go to the out. Here's the mini connector thingamajigger. I'll do one. And we said red is going out, so the red will now be in. So I'll go right here, like so, and then, and the gray was coming from the in, and now the gray is gone from the out, like so. Cool. Now, let's plug it in. This is so much fun. I love doing this stuff. And let's go ahead and just turn it on. Run normal, grand piano. Let's go ahead and open up Logic Pro 9. Yeah, these older keyboards are kind of funny. Just go in here, go, applications. And this is pretty much on all OS X devices or OS X OSs. It's the same thing. It's, it's always going to be in the utilities folder under your applications. 
And if we go into our utilities right there, and then what we're going to do is look for the little piano icon, which says audio MIDI setup, AMS. Just double click on that, expand this out a little bit so you can see. There it is, MIDI 4x4. We'll check that out. That's kind of cool. Now, well, let's go ahead and add a device. Oops. We're going to add this thing called, what is this called, a Casio or something. So I'm going to go ahead and just expand this out. Hold my alt. And we're going to go here and do add device. And just double click on that, open it up. And we're going to name it. The, the name can be anything. It doesn't matter. It's as long as you remember what you named it. So I'm going to call it CA. S I O. Casio. Yo. And then the manufacturer. Casio. Yo. And then we'll call it LK one hundred. LK one hundred. There we go. And model. color the color is actually pretty good it kind of matches it doesn't really matter and give it a, a nice little icon that one right there that, that'll work ports was well, this is important just rename your just double click right here to rename it and we're going to name that to Call it LK100 for short. As a matter of fact, we're going to go C A S I O dash LK100. Something like that. So the MIDI in and the MIDI out, that defines, that's what you're telling OSX how many actual MIDI connections are on your keyboard. So this only has a, a one and a one, so a one in and a one out. So that's all you need. Some keyboards might actually have more than one. So, and you would define it in there. Just a note. The properties. Okay, we're good. So we did that, and then what you need to do? Look at that. We got four of them. This is so cool. Just take the little tick mark arrows and match them up. I'm going to one since we have it plugged into one. Put the other one in there. Boom. Look at that. Nice. And then let's just close that out. Won't need that. And let's open up logic. Now what a lot of times after you do that, you will have to close logic out. So we're gonna go ahead and just just quit logic if you have it open. And then now we're gonna just gonna reopen it. Is I've done this. I put up a new project. I went in. I did external MIDI. That's all. Boom. And then it'll come up default like this. Click this little thing for GM devices. And for the port, just make sure you have your Casio. When we went in the MIDI setup utility, we named it that port. And I told you earlier on that was a very important port. And make sure you pick that. And then the channel, I just put all. You want to make sure that is what you pick. And as long as you have those three things, external, all, and the port number, you're going to be able to play this thing out and have a little cool effect. And then I just threw in a MIDI file. Any MIDI file. I went and just downloaded something from Japan. Opus 10, number one, whatever. And check this out. Watch this. I'll just go in here and I'll just hit play.
what is happening here, the MIDI from this is actually being injected through this device right here, this little MIDI 4x4, and there's no audio at all uh, being transferred. It's just sending messaging data. Turn that back on. It's sending this control data from the little MIDI Plus guy into this keyboard and it's using the internal sounds playing the internal sounds back onto this keyboard so I thought that was kinda of cool, a little cool trick that I wanted to show you can pretty much do this in any kind of uh, DAW that has a, a good MIDI program uh, this is probably gonna be like a part one of the MIDI Plus device I just wanted to show just kinda of like some basic things and again I just want to show that there's no audio going into this thing it is completely MIDI you can see from behind here it does have a mic input you can use a cable like this if you wanted to get sound from logic into the to use these speakers uh, this is a basically a stereo 1 4th to a stereo 1 8th you know and I got a little adapter it's kind of like a little 1 8th 1 8th it's a little cheap cable you pick up at Target or anywhere on Amazon and you could feed that out of your Mac and into the mic input you would get both speakers going at the same time. We can do that on the next run. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and share it on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. If you'd like to see more videos like this, just click on the big red subscribe button below. And when I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Also, if you did like this video, maybe you will like some more of my other videos. You can watch those right now just by clicking on any of these links right here which will open up a link and a new tab. Again, thanks for watching my video and supporting this channel. And remember, my friends, stay groovy.